Well, Frank Luntz, author of Words at Work and a Fox News political analyst, put a focus group to the test. All right, good morning to you, Frank. Now, the most exciting part about all this is that this is new Luntzometer stuff. Yeah. <laughs> we've, never seen, we've never seen these dials before. That's so right? funny. It's an old joke. Okay. Yeah, all right, so <laughs> tell us in it on It goes back a long time when the Luntzometer first broke on the scene. Yes, about uh, 24 hours ago. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. so guys, get a grip here. This is professional television. Uh, we wanted to see how undecided voters reacted to both the positive and negatives of Barack Obama. And we got a video. It's called Hype. And I encourage people to go to the web to take a look at it. It's put together by Citizens United. Normally when you see these lines go, they always go positive mm -hmm. because they're reacting favorably. But we tested some of the challenges to Barack Obama. And I want to show one specific clip about his associations and how undecided voters react to it. This is really powerful stuff. Let's take a look at the lines going down at a negative reaction to Barack Obama. So, a controversy. Obama still says, well, I didn't know him very well. Then after evidence is produced that Obama knew Rezco and the others extremely well, Obama says, well, he's turning out not to be the person I thought he was. And then finally, there's enough evidence produced where Obama says, well, I just disassociate myself from Rezco, from Reverend Wright, from Louis Farrakhan, from William Ayers. By the time Obama's finished disassociating himself from his Chicago con associations, it's hard to know what he was doing in Chicago. It's all a lie. Okay, so the, the blue line, Democrats going down. The Republican line so low, we couldn't even see it. This is the first time that we've tested this attack on Barack Obama where it actually is substantial. And the reason, and Citizens United did a fantastic job in this video. It's a, it's a far better challenge of Barack Obama than what John McCain has done because it gets to the important component, credibility. And what it's, so you can see how low the lines are there. They actually had to move that, that bottom part because the Republicans are so angry, uh, undecided Republicans, and even the Democratic line reacts unfavorably. We got a focus group response. Don't take my word for it. Let's listen to what the 23 uh, undecided voters had to say after watching this video. Let's listen. Somewhat naive to think that Obama does not know what his friends are doing. All right, and it's just naive. I think that anybody in a position of power, though, knows all kinds of people. The question is how close and what type of relationship they have. Something that has to be examined. Nobody has a perfect past, so stop focusing on the past and start focusing on the positive issues of each candidate. I, I agree that current issues have to be explored, but. Uh, you, you just can't ignore what helps develop a person, and that's the past. It's the president. It's not just a politician. It's the president. It's not just a politician. It's a pretty powerful statement. Citizens United put together this mm -hmm. hype video. It's over an hour long. And it really does yeah. raise questions about these associations. And, and how people respond to them. Yes, and it's very powerful. But, okay. uh, and so uh, there are some who say, you know, we don't know if this Ayers thing is working, but you couple Ayers with Wright and others, and it, as we can see from your dialometer, it's effective. Now, make no mistake, the American people want to hear about the economy. Sure. They want to hear about their 401ks. They want to know that their retirement is safe. But if Trade that way that you just saw. If it's independent people mm -hmm. talking about it, it's it is credible. Right. As opposed United, to the candidate, is what right. you're saying. Yes, John McCain should not be talking about this. Right. John McCain needs to talk about the economy. Other people should be talking about what's in the. Citizens United is a conservative group, though. Would you it's say? a conservative group, it, it, and it has produced material against Hillary Clinton. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Sure. But it's still there's still material in there that the public should want to see. Uh, speaking of stuff that people want to see, uh, check out Frank's book. It is called Words That Work. It's a New York Times bestseller. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, sir, for joining us live. Thank you. Good to see you.